Hello everyone, and we're back, and today I'm going to show you a little update I made to the clock with spawners. So, for one, you can actually change the clock over here to a much faster clock, like so. And this is the command block clock, where you've got one which sets it, and one which replaces it. And the same test for command, so that's much, much faster. And the other thing is, I've got this command block here, which is a wooden pressure plate set block. So it sets this block back to a wooden pressure plate. And as Perry's demonstrating, it means you can do it really fast because you don't have to wait for the pressure plate to update itself. Now, another thing I did wrong before was I forgot to change these so that the set blocks were all different data values. For example, this is 1, this is 2, because you can't set a block, or you can't set the block itself. So you can't set block a mob spawner with the same data value at that position, even if it has different tags. So I'm going to show you it now. So this is one second, so 20 ticks. And if Perry joins me, this is half a second, which is 10 ticks. And then if Perry leaves, it goes back. And if I leave, it turns off like before. Um, as you can see, I've got a little repeater here because this thing goes so fast that you won't ever get um, two ticks from it. So if I demonstrate that by using a redstone torch here and place this here, and if I stand here, you can see the torch stays on the whole time. So if you really needed uh, tick delays between them, you'll have to use one tick repeaters. And if you wanted it slightly longer, you could always use this set block and put this set block after a couple of ticks. Well, that's all, and thank you for watching, and goodbye.